Hey everyone, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like making copious amounts of money, click subscribe, give me the thumbs up if you like this content. So, technical analysis. I just was looking at some of the things and I was going to respond to some, some people and I just, I realized something. Uh, I, I do do fundamental analysis, but I do rely very heavily on technical analysis. And I wanted to create this, this presentation just to touch on some things. So if you're a new subscriber, you know, welcome subscribe, you know, subscribing to the channel. But I'm gonna go over technical analysis. And you know, someone asked what sector is the best sector to go into. And when I was answering this question, it got me thinking about how I evaluate each sector. And honestly, I do rely very heavily on technical analysis. And I would have no idea how someone could be successful based only on fundamental analysis only. Technical analysis is, is a cornerstone of an investor's ability to see what the market is telling you. And if, you don't, if you're not very good at technical analysis and you're, and you're a new investor, I think you should really look into it. Because I, I, I rely a lot on technical analysis on, on how I position some, in some of my portfolios and even when evaluating companies. Because the, you can see some of the fundamentals in the chart once you get good enough at looking at the chart. And it, technical analysis, this, this is one thing that's very important. It also provides, quote, the power of a company that can, that, that can deliver returns. And it also can tell you value at certain market conditions. It, 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 it's, it's kind of weird once you really start getting good at looking at charts. Uh, it can provide you a vision to breakout levels and what potential breakout opportunities can be based off of pattern sizes. Uh, higher cost producers can get punished far more on the downside than those with no debt and better fundamentals. So my question would be, how would someone who is only fundamental capture this value with companies who have debt? Because when you look at the fundamentals, you say this company has debt, I, I want to avoid it. I want to avoid it like the plague. But if I were to look at a company and I'd say, okay, this chart pattern looks absolutely killer, but the company has debt. Now, when, when, when a market is out of favor, they're going to sell these companies with debt to extreme levels. You're never going to see that extreme of a level with a company that has excellent fundamentals. So your, your value opportunity is going to be greater in some of the companies that have debt versus those who do not have debt. And if the, if the prices come back, and they come back quickly, those companies with debt are going to absolutely rocket higher because they were pushed into the depths of, quote, hell uh, by the short sellers. So I'm just, I'm just trying to think this through. And the fundamentals, don't, don't get me wrong, fundamentals don't move stock prices directly. They don't. Markets and people in those markets move prices. How does someone who only does fundamental analysis know what the market thinks if you can't see it in the chart? What does the market fundamental analysis say about your fundamental analysis? How would one verify they did everything correctly? How would you know? I use charts to let me know, and that's how I bounce my fundamentals off of charting, and I, and I bounce them off, off each other. I say, the fundamentals look good, but what does the chart say? And if the chart looks good, then I, my fundamentals must be correct, the way I fundamentally value this company. So performance and returns, typically those with an okay balance sheet and have some amount of debt are the best returning companies as the downside, they get punished the most when, they, when, when they're out of favor. Then, you know, there's, there's the timing issue when purchasing these companies and how would you time your purchases with no technical analysis at all? You could be stuck in companies that are great value for a very, very long time. How would one know what the market is buying in mass in terms of volume with only fundamental analysis? And, and don't get me wrong, fundamentals are important. Fundamentals are important of, of sectors and understanding the market balances and cost curves of producers. I go over all that stuff. But how would one move past this without technical analysis? you would be hoping that the market turns in your favor, but that could take many, many years. And I'm sure some of you guys have experienced this. I have experienced it myself 
when I was a new investor. You could get stuck in the wrong sectors over and over without knowing the timing. You're, you're, you're doing all this fundamental analysis. You're, you're killing yourself in all the wrong sectors. How would you know what sectors to be in? And how would you know what to put your valuable time to work you know, into what sector is the best sector? So I just wanted to make this, this presentation and, and, and basically say that fundamentals are important, but technical analysis is just as important. It gives you a better picture of the investment landscape. It gives you timing as well as potential outcomes. It manages your emotions better if you know somewhat of what is coming. And market conditions are also extremely important to being properly positioned for assets. I mean, market conditions, you, you got to get that right. I mean, if you don't get market conditions right, you're going to get slaughtered. You're going to be in all the wrong sectors at all the wrong times. If you get the market conditions right and you know where to look, it, it, it brings this entire picture and only cuts the pie to this 30% where you should be looking. Then you can put all of your valuable time into the companies that are going to return the most over time. But it's just difficult for me to envision investing without technical analysis. And if you guys do not know technical analysis at all, I recommend that you start learning because it is a very valuable tool and skill set to have as an investor. It, it gives you a leg up over other people who don't, who don't do it. If you like this content, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. I have a technical investing series uh, in my playlist. It's four videos long. And it gives you the basics of, of technical analysis. And then you just have to apply it. So check that out. Uh, I think it's very valuable. And I use technical analysis very much so when evaluating companies and looking at markets. Thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.